Thank you, Andy, uh, and it's great to be here. Just sitting back in the back room and seeing all the new innovation from, uh, from AWS, it's really amazing. So just a little bit about Workday. We were founded in 2005 by myself and Dave Duffield, who has been my longtime business partner and mentor. We were refugees from the Oracle PeopleSoft takeover, which was very hostile. So I quite enjoyed that, uh, that reference to the bombastic leader of that company. From day one, we set out to build HR and financial applications in the cloud. Different than other companies who were started at that time, we focused on large companies. We focused on uh, the global Fortune 2000. And 11 years later, we are still focused on that mission. Today, we have 1,350 and growing large enterprise customers using Workday, of which there are 120 are uh, in the Fortune 500. And when I say using Workday, it's for their core system of record for all their people or all their accounting or both. So truly their ERP solution, and we're typically replacing an Oracle or SAP or PeopleSoft installation. We're a core values-driven company. The two founding principles of the company are taking care of your employees and taking care of your customers. Very proud of the fact that we're consistently rated one of the best companies to work for by Fortune Magazine and the Best Places to Work Institute. And our belief is that happy employees make for happy customers. And to that, to that point, since we started measuring customer satisfaction, we've always been above 95%. Uh, today, we are at 97% customer satisfaction. In those 11 years, we've grown the business from scratch to what Wall Street thinks will be about a $1.5 or more billion dollar business this year. Uh, and, and growing nicely. We actually have our earnings call tomorrow, so I have to be careful what I say. Let's, let's take a, a minute and talk about our technology. Starting in 2005, we had the great opportunity to start truly with a clean sheet of paper and design using the most modern technologies. We took a page out of the consumer internet, really looking at them as our, as our guiding force for how new applications should be built. The Amazons of the world, the Facebooks of the world, and designed a new set of HR and accounting applications leveraging consumer internet style user interface, mobile when mobile came along, and a scale out architecture which sits very well with where we're headed with Amazon. We embrace this concept of the power of one where every customer is on exactly the same version, one line of code, one security model, one user model, one, one user interface. That might sound like a simple thing to do, but if you compare it to our competitors, SAP and Oracle, who we affectionately call Frankensources, which are a combination of Frankensoft and dinosaurs, they largely got to the cloud through uh, consolidation. They bought many companies, and today they have a portfolio of products with different user interfaces, different security models, uh, different SLAs, and they spend much of their time trying to tie all those things together. For us, with this power of one, we're able to move quickly, that one version, be agile, uh, innovate rapidly, and when we go from one version to the next, we bring all of our customers with us. Back when we started the company in 2005, AWS was just getting going. So like most companies starting at that point, we built out our own data centers. We built out our own infrastructure. But as we looked forward to the next 10 years and thought about where the world is headed, and looked at all the amazing innovation coming from AWS, we made the decision that the best thing to do was really focus on building great applications, but leverage the really powerful and broad platform of AWS. And to talk about how we're going to do that, I'd like to invite my, my own European, David Clark, our Senior Vice President of Technology, who will talk about the partnership. David? Good morning, everybody. Um, I was expecting to be the token European on stage here this morning. So you can imagine my dismay when I was preceded, not just by an Italian, but by a Brit. However, I am your token Irishman here. So good morning. So I'm delighted to announce, as Neil described, that Workday has selected Amazon as its preferred provider for public cloud customer workloads. This means that all of the Workday applications, HR, 
financials, analytics, and planning will be running on the Amazon cloud. We conducted a very detailed technical assessment of the available options. And perhaps unsurprisingly, since I'm standing here this morning, we came to the clear conclusion that AWS was by far the best choice for us and for our customers. As Andy mentioned, we have been using AWS services for quite a long time. We started way back in 2008, and I distinctly remember our first bill for $34.31. It was on my personal credit card at the time. Since then, we've used well over 100 million hours of compute services from Amazon. So we've long since blown through my credit limit. But we've also satisfied ourselves that this is a highly reliable and scalable platform which can achieve what we needed to do. More importantly for us and for our enterprise customers, we have extreme sensitivity around security, around privacy, around integrity for these critical corporate workloads. And we're very satisfied that Amazon has deep and mature capabilities to enable us to provide those services to our customers. It is right for enterprise workloads, and that's why we've made this selection and embarked on this multi-year partnership with Amazon. Also, in the spirit of David Ricardo's doctrine of comparative advantage, this means that we can focus on what we do best, building great applications for our global customer base. It also means that we can offer more choices for our customers in terms of how and where they deploy. And in particular, we will now be able to offer choices for our customers who have particular sensitivity around data residency, where the data lives, where it's stored. We will be rolling out our services progressively on AWS starting in 2017 with Canada, which is a country quite near to America. From there, we'll be expanding worldwide to other regions, including the US and Europe. So we look forward to working with AWS to bring our customers on this journey and help them realize the benefits of the public cloud. Thank you for your time this morning. And I was going to leave you by saying goodbye in Irish, but I feel that that would probably strain even the capabilities of the new Lex engine that Andy just announced. So thank you and goodbye.